Hello, and welcome to the May 2022 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. In the evening sky on the 2nd, about 45 minutes after sunset, the two and a half day old waxing crescent moon is four and a half degrees above Mercury in the west southwest. This is the last chance to see Mercury before it slips back into bright twilight in the next few days. Throughout this month, the spring constellations Leo the Lion and Virgo the Maiden dominate the southern sky. To the southeast, the constellations of Libra the Scales and Scorpius the Scorpion have just emerged above the horizon. On the 15th, the full moon within the red circle is located between these constellations. On this night, the moon is not looking too full or bright. That's because the moon slips into the Earth's shadow and is totally eclipsed. The total lunar eclipse on the 15th is visible in the Americas, Europe and Africa. A total lunar eclipse happens when the moon moves within the darkest part of the Earth's shadow, known as the umbra. The moon darkens for a few hours when in the umbra. The lighter part of the Earth's shadow cast into space is called the penumbra. This diagram shows the path of the moon through the penumbra and umbra. The eclipse is visible from Los Angeles after the moon rises at 7.41 p.m. PDT. At 6.32 p.m. PDT, the moon moves into the penumbra. This phase of the eclipse is visible from the east coast of the United States. During that time, no changes in the moon's shading is detectable until the moon is two-thirds of the way into the penumbra. This happens around 7.10 p.m. PDT. At 7.28 p.m. PDT, the moon's left limb or eastern edge is noticeably darkened as it approaches the umbra. About one quarter of the moon is in the umbra at moonrise as seen from Los Angeles. At 8.29 p.m. PDT, the entire moon is immersed in the umbra. Totality lasts 1 hour and 29 minutes. Greatest eclipse occurs at 9.11 p.m. PDT. At this point, the moon's northern edge will appear darker than its southern edge. The colors seen on the moon vary from deep red to orange as it reflects sunlight from light filtered through the Earth's atmosphere from all the world's sunrises and sunsets. 9.54 p.m. PDT. The moon's eastern edge brightens as it exits the umbra. Totality ends. At 10.55 p.m. PDT, the moon's western edge exits the umbra. This is the end of the partial or umbral eclipse. 11.51 p.m. PDT, the moon is back to full brightness. The total lunar eclipse is over. This animation shows the total lunar eclipse as seen from Los Angeles at half-hour intervals. We invite you to join us for our live broadcast of the Total Lunar Eclipse, streamed live from Griffith Observatory on the 15th, weather permitting. Link to our page is in the red box. Turning to the morning sky, four planets are visible about an hour before sunrise. Low to the east is the brilliant planet Venus, followed by Jupiter, the red planet Mars, and Saturn above the southeast horizon. Technically, there are five planets in the morning sky. On the 18th, Neptune, the farthest planet in the solar system, is close to Mars. This is a great opportunity to see it. We'll zoom in for a closer look. You'll need a good pair of binoculars to see Neptune, the fourth largest planet in the solar system. It appears as a bluish star-like point of light above Mars. Looking closer, both planets are separated by a moon's diameter, line of sight. Although Neptune is 19 times farther away than Mars is from Earth, a large telescope with at least 150 times magnification is enough to show Neptune as a disk. This image was taken last year. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, is visible below the blue planet. On the morning of the 24th, the waning crescent moon is to the right of Jupiter and Mars in the east-southeast. The next morning, the 25-day-old moon moves below Jupiter and Mars. On the 29th, about an hour before sunrise, there is a close conjunction of Jupiter and Mars. Both planets are separated by a moon's diameter. Look a day before and after the 29th to watch the movement of these planets in the east-southeast. Our moon phases this month. First quarter is on the 8th, full moon is on the 15th, last quarter is on the 22nd, and new moon is on the 30th. 
And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio.